good day guys welcome to today's lesson on etabs today we are going to learn how to use the auto selection list now the auto selection list in etabs for concrete is provided in the sense that you can provide various section properties and etabs will select the most suitable section for that particular member so in this case we are going to analyze and design a simply supported six meter beam on etabs so the first thing we do now is right click edit my grid let me edit the story i guess need only one story so i like the other stories i'm deleting i right click delete story deleting existence so i'm left with only story one so i'll click i can refresh the view and okay now for my grid system i'm going to modify this grid system and in my x direction i just need two grids so delete then this since the six meter beam i'll leave it at six meters then in my y i'm going to delete this three okay so i can click okay refresh view so the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to define material property so define material property add new europe rebar yeah that's my rebar so i'll name it 500 megapascal so come to this point and change it to 500 next one is my concrete europe concrete so using c25 c30 okay so you can refresh it five mp that is cylinder okay okay so i'm done with the material then the next thing i'm going to define is the section property that's the width and the depth of the beam it's multiple properties To add new property so the first one is concrete so i'm going to make like about five concrete sections so from 450 down so I'm, and i'm going to be increasing the depth by every 150 millimeter so i have first one is beam 230 by 450 material c25 c30 depth 450 the width is 230 then modify show rebar i'm changing this to 500 mp 500 mp design as beam so my beam cover is 25 and okay so once i'm satisfied with the parameters i can go ahead and i can click ok and delete this since i'm not using it any longer so i can make a copy of this add copy of this and me to beam 230 by 600 so i'll change the depth to 600 so you can see automatically it's selected as beam already so i don't need to change any property here 600 so add a copy of this also so beam 230 sorry beam 230 by 750 okay so change the depth 750 and the last but not the least beam 230 by 900 so beam 230 by 900 to change the depth to 900 then let me try a little flat beam so i'll change this to a beam sorry beam 450 by 450 so let's see which to select sorry by 450 change the depth to 450 change the width to 450 yes okay so once i'm done with this now so i'm going to create a list automatically that it tabs will generate from so i'm going to go to add new property now my left hand corner here i'm going to see auto select list so once i click that i give it a name i want beam sections so auto select the i'll choose it as concrete so once i choose that concrete automatically i'll see all the concretes i've created so i will highlight this and bring them inside here so i'll click okay. so i can see my beam section so the next thing i need to do now is to draw my six meter beam so quick draw six meter just click but now there's a mistake there so you can see that i chose beam 230 by 450 so what i'm going to do is I'll click this as 
define join frame section property and assign this section to it Next, now do nice. I light the endpoints, the joints, assign joint restraints, simply supported pinned, apply OK, so it's automatically assigned. Next thing I'll do now is assign my load, my loads. So click this, apply frame load. We have um, distributed load. The first one is dead. Uh, we have a distributed load of. 30 okay apply you can see it's 30 then the next one we have live load of let's see 15 sorry because we didn't select this beam so apply okay then we don't put the dead and the live so i need point load also for dead and live so i go back to click my beam assign frame load i have point load so now this point load you can assign that as force or moment you can assign that point force or point moment but in this case i'm going to assign only point force so i want it to be at the center so at this point i'll change it to 0 0.5 and put a point load of maybe 45 so apply you can see it okay sorry yes it's there already yes sorry so this is a meter i can change this to three meter if i want to use it and apply so it is there already now, next thing i'll do now is go to my define load combinations so i'm going to define it automatically so add default combos concrete frame design convert yes so the first one i have is 1.3 dead and the next one i have is 1.3 dead and 1.5 live okay so i can edit it if i want manually i can rename this combo to 1.35 gk plus 1.5 QK, I can see this. There's no key here. Okay, so I can see it. Like this. Once I'm done with that, I go to my analyze, check my model if there's any error. So select all. So there are no errors. Okay, so I'll analyze so this. It will analyze. Save it as um six meter beam two tutorial two yeah so we're waiting for it to analyze so once it's analyzed we can see this now we can see the shear force you can see this the moment you can see our moment we can see the moment in moment two direction okay so let's go back to moment three is this direction in this direction moment two is the other direction so let's go to combo because I was interested in apply. So you can see it. Let's see our shear force. You can see it. So because of the point load we added, that is why it's going in this direction. Okay. So we are done with our analysis. We can see what we have. Yes. So next thing we do now is we design. So go to concrete design. Yes. It's telling me analysis and design section differs for concrete frame because we've created so many so it's going to iterate it so we are going to go so let's wait for it to iterate it so to pick like the best session for us okay so it has iterated and we've seen it has provided reinforcement for us so what we do is click this right click and it brings the summary for us so it's telling us to provide um, 230 by 600 so with this combination 1.35 gk this is this the length and everything so this is the section it provided for us okay okay so this is the moment you used to design and this is the required area of steel 
so this is the minimum you must provide at every section minimum repair you must provide and this is what is currently required okay so this is the shear force you can check this from the shear force table and this is the torsion force and reinforcement this is it so for now no need for torsion so we are good to go so thank you for watching today's video on etabs please if you have any question you can drop it in the comment section thank you very much